What's up guys, my name's Connor, and today I'm gonna be going over my top three essential Louis Vuitton bags. So whether you have a small collection, big collection, you're just buying your first bag, if I only could pick three Louis Vuitton bags to have, these are what they would be. So if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to like, subscribe button as it really, really helps out my channel. And with that said, let's get right into the video. All right guys, so for those of you guys who might think that Louis Vuitton is a little bit overkill, a little bit overpriced, you might think that there's not really a reason to spend the extra dollar to purchase them. A few reasons why I did is that they do hold their value somewhat well. There are a lot of bags that I've bought that I've been able to sell because one, I didn't like them or I didn't want to wear them anymore. And I was able to get close to what I initially purchased for. Also, the quality is obviously gonna be a lot better in a $2,000 bag than a $100 bag. And lastly, I enjoy wearing them, and so sometimes it's worth spending the extra money to buy something that you enjoy, especially when it's going to last you a very long time. So the first bag that I wanna show you guys is my Louis Vuitton sling bag. This model was released in very limited quantities, and it's known as the giant damier pattern. So obviously we have the regular damier coated canvas right here, but up here is the extra print that they only released in limited quantities. So I'm gonna talk about the regular model as that's the one that you guys will most likely be purchasing, and the retail cost of it is going to be $1,900 USD. So it's quite expensive, but I did have one originally, and when I decided to sell it, I sold it for about $1,500. So if you guys buy it, you guys decide it's not worth it and you guys wanna get rid of it, you guys really aren't gonna lose that much purchasing it. It's gonna have the Damier canvas, as I mentioned. This one is a little bit different, but yours is basically just gonna look like this all over it. Um, it's gonna have two different compartments right here. This one's obviously gonna be the smaller one. You guys could put little goods like a wallet or whatever little accessories you guys might be carrying with you. And in here, you have some room to carry any uh, anything else that you guys are carrying. I know some people, think it's functional if you carry. Um, I know that some people think it's functional if there's anything else small that you might be using throughout the day, such as an extra t-shirt if you might be changing, um, or whatever it might be. You've got a good amount of room. Um, the dimensions of this bag is gonna be eight inches by 12 inches by four inches. So it is somewhat spacious and it looks really nice across your chest. And for how lightweight it is, it's extremely functional. So the next bag that I wanna show you guys is my Louis Vuitton Reverse Eclipse Christopher backpack. Now, I've had pretty much every Louis Vuitton backpack that Louis Vuitton has ever released, um, but this one's my favorite, not just because of its appearance, but also because of how spacious it is. The retail cost of this bag is gonna be $3,300 USD, so it's not a cheap bag, and it is more expensive retail-wise than a lot of the other bags, but in my opinion, it is worth it. It's going to have the reverse eclipse coated canvas all around. So we're gonna have two different types of eclipse. We're gonna have the lighter color right here. Then obviously on the side pocket, it's gonna be darker. The top part's gonna to be darker and then it's gonna be lighter in the front. So I like how it kind of changes color throughout. And it's also pretty subtle because it's not gonna be the brown. It's not gonna be the red like the Supreme Louis Vuitton collaboration. It's just a nice, dark gray to light gray, and you still have the monogram all over the back. And then taking a slightly closer look, we are going to have the textile lining throughout, and we are also gonna have the cowhide leather trim, which you could especially see um, on these straps right here. And then opening up the straps, that's going to open the bag, and obviously you have a lot of room in here to carry whatever you wanna carry. And then if the bag is full halfway throughout, you have this pull right here, which will tighten the top and will save you some room and make it a little bit easier to carry. But if you have something that fits width wise, but not length wise, you still have the option of putting it in and having it stick out of the top and just folding the top back. And that's one of the reasons why it feels so spacious. And then the third bag I'm gonna show you guys is usually used when I'm traveling or if I have a lot to carry, as this is gonna be a lot more spacious than the other two bags and that is going to be the Louis Vuitton Eclipse Keep Ball right here. This is gonna be the size 55. This one comes in two different sizes. It comes in a 45 and a 55. And for those of you guys who don't know what that means or what they're referring to by those numbers, it's essentially the length in centimeters. So if you were to go from this end to this end, it's going to be 55 centimeters, and it's going to be very, very spacious on the inside, uh, and it will hold about double what the, the Christopher backpack will hold. And then on the inside, we're just going to have the little dust bag right here that's just gonna protect it when I'm not using it or when it's just stored away. Um, and the retail cost of this one is gonna be $2,570. 
So even though it's something that you can carry over your shoulder, it's gonna be a lot bigger than the Christopher backpack, it is still about $1,000 less retail wise. So if you're just gonna go for one bag and you wanna make sure that you're able to store more than less, then I would go for this bag as it might be the safer option for you. As far as the materials, we're gonna have the coated canvas right here. Obviously this one's gonna be in clips rather than reverse clips or the damier. Um, it's gonna have the cowhide leather trim and also the textile lining when you look up close. Um, the strap is gonna make this a bandolier key ball just because you're able to wear it over the shoulder. But if you don't choose to use this, it is completely removable. And if you're a taller or a smaller person, then you have the option of adjusting the size of it as well. So with that said, let me know what you guys think of my picks. The sling bag is obviously gonna be more used as an accessory. The backpack is very, very spacious and it's pretty much gonna hold everything that I would use to carry for one day. And then if I'm away from multiple days and I need to bring a few outfits and obviously accessories along with that, then the key ball is going to be extremely sizey and useful for that. So if you guys have different picks, make sure to leave it down in the comments. Let me know what else you guys wanna see on my channel. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like subscribe button. If you guys are looking to purchase any of these or any of the watches on my channel, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook at Connor.Langley or Connor Langley on Facebook. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.